Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Wednesday, April 4th. 2018. Well, folks, markets have staged an impressive rally. At the open, we were down sharply on the S&P 500. Dow is down over 500 points. More worries coming from new announcements from China on tariffs on U.S. goods or essentially goods coming uh, from the U.S. over to China. And this was retaliation for Trump's announced tariffs. And basically, the market knows at this point it seems like we're in a trade war. But miraculously, the markets rallied off of their lows and are essentially flat on the day. You can see we gapped down, actually making a lower pivot than yesterday's lowest point. But then look at the rally that's taken place here. Been pretty spectacular. So from the lows yesterday to essentially, look at that, the highs today. And that's amazing to see such a quick move to the upside and a re kind of retrace, if you will. Now, what does this all mean? Bottom line is, to me, this is bullish. And I continue to be bullish for the next two weeks or so into earnings season. I think for the most part, markets continue to show resiliency. Earnings season is coming up, and I think there's a lot of investors and hedge funds that are thinking earnings are going to be spectacular. Therefore, they're buying into earnings. So I think that's kind of what happened today. I think we saw a bunch of buying going into earnings season, which starts next week, essentially. But the big tech earnings start in about two to three weeks from now. All right. So again, bullish right now. And the key here is very simple. As long as you hold Monday's low pivot, so as long as the spiders do not close below 255 on the SPY, you are going to stay neutral to positive or bullish on the markets. If at some point that breaks, then this market's going to take a big tumble. I have my next downside move penciled into about 245 on the SPY. So again, you know, if you break this low here at 255, you got another 10 points down that'll happen very, very quickly, possibly within a day or two. So just keep that in the back of your mind. So please understand what I'm saying here. Near term, I am neutral to positive bias, overall net bullish. But over the longer term, over the next three, four, five weeks, I am net very negative on the markets. In other words, I'm long here overall, but I'm looking to get out of those within a week or so and then start flipping into shorts as the markets rally up. Max upside target on the SPY, I want to give you guys that. So over the next couple of weeks, my I want to give you the, the highest possible upside move, and that level would be right here. This is about 270 and a change, so 270 and change. So really, it's about 10 bucks to the upside. And again, assuming we don't take out this low pivot down here, I would expect us to generally trend upwards over the next two weeks into that level. Okay, couple stocks on my watch list because there are plenty. Here's the daily chart. This is the SPY. You can see we're still holding the 200 moving average, which is a positive. But take a look at a couple of my favorites. Sprint is on my radar here. Major, major support. Notice the, a nice update today. Uh, even when the markets were near their lows, uh, Sprint was actually net positive on the day. So that was a very positive thing. If it can get through these moving averages, Sprint, you could see this thing catapult sharply higher to 6 bucks or over. So very bullish on Sprint. Another one I'm bullish on, and I've talked to you guys about this, KHC having a nice move up. Here's two minor resistance points, but overall, I expect a much bigger move up on KHC Kraft Heinz. One of the reasons why, and I said this before, I like it so much is because in this environment where we have a lot more risk in the markets, you're going to want to focus on stocks that are safer. And by safer, I mean low on the chart, good quality company like Kraft Heinz, right? but also pay a big dividend, 4% dividend. So, you know, not only are you buying Kraft Heinz at a major discount, if I zoom out, I mean, look at this discount where this thing's trading now. I mean, it's it's fell off, fell off a cliff. It should have a major bounce on it minimally, but then you're also in line for a dividend payment of 4% uh, plus per year. So think about that. It's just basically added bonus to this stock. And I think this is the type of stock that you're going to see bigger players start to rotate into. All right, so keep a close eye on that. Um, other than that, I mean, there's a bunch of technology plays out there that are getting interesting, but they haven't hit the levels quite yet. I really wanted to buy Micron. I had a level here at the 50 moving average um, as a day trade at a break of 50, but then I have this pivot just below it around uh, 40, what was that, 47, which I'm really looking for. I think this is going to be a bigger swing trade level here. I think on the next wave of selling, we'll get there at least maybe even lower on Micron, and Micron becomes a buy at that point. Um, also, yesterday I told you guys we played Tesla. I did sell Tesla for a 10% gain, but it's up again today beautifully as it continues to ramp up. That was just such an easy buy. Um, I got to thank Elon Musk to give him a shout-out because 
him posting those kind of that fake uh, April Fool's joke about the company about Tesla going bankrupt on on the um, on I think it was Sunday the first. Uh, that was priceless because it gave us that second entry. We played Tesla on Friday, $20 gain on Friday, and $20 uh, gain yesterday. Uh, we took it on Monday and obviously took profits yesterday on Tesla for $25 gain in basically 24 hours. And that was purely because he's, he freaked out some investors with his post on Twitter. And so again, you know, really, I mean, he's he made us money there. And I got to give him a little bit of a, a shout out there. All right. Other than that, just keep your eyes peeled. Lots of trading opportunities. We continue to be amazingly profitable in the research center here at InTheMoneyStocks.com in the options alerts in the intraday stock chat. We had two more winning day trades in the intraday stock chat today. Both were on CLDR. I had a master level. Look at this, by the way. Look at that trend line. This was, this was our second buy trend line right down here. We nailed it perfectly. I bought in at 13.35. It bounced all the way to 14.05 for a 70 cent gain in a few minutes. We had a other, another trade on it earlier in the day as well, which was just a beautiful one. So two big winners on CLDR today in the chat room. For those of you that are day traders, uh, talk to anyone who's in the intraday stock chat right now. It is the most profitable I think it's ever been. The trades are just, you know, literally every single day, two to four trades in the morning session, all profits. I think in total, in the last hundred trades, we've maybe had three losers, you know, like 200 bucks here, 200 bucks there. Well, we're making seven, eight, 900 on average on these big bounces in these stocks that are coming down to major levels. So again, bottom line is I encourage you to come get involved here. I mean, just look at that level on CLT. I mean, CLDR. Most of you guys probably wouldn't have even thought to look for something like that. That gives you, look at how the stock is right there. I mean, it just gives you the, the exact low. This is the charts working for you. Absolutely perfectly too. All right, come to InTheMoneyStocks.com. Take the seven-day free trial, folks. Get involved. The money, literally people are, are making more money in a day here than, it, than the whole subscription cost for every service combined for a year. It's that incredible right now. Have a great one, guys.